do you know that at present our country needs over 200 million tons of food grains to feed its huge population and by the year 2020 this requirement would have grown to over 294 million tons which is approximately 94 million tons more than the present requirement and this additional requirement will have to come from the same area of agricultural land that is present today or even less going by the rate at which agricultural land is being converted for commercial and residential use. Now the biggest challenge in front of our scientists and agriculturists is that they have to increase the production efficiency of land and reduce the production cost. For providing the sufficient food to the rapidly increasing population, various measures have been adopted by the farmers. They are using the chemical fertilizers and pesticides to get the huge output from the crops. But these results are for short term, as the benefits from these chemical fertilizers and pesticides are not effective for longer term. The fertility of agricultural land and nutrients of food grains and vegetables are being deteriorated because of the excess use of pesticides and fertilizers. The detrimental effects are also being seen on the human health. They contaminate the land and underground water which is very harmful for ecosystem. Now we are facing two problems. One the production of required food grains to feed the huge population of the country to protection of the environment. The eco-friendly agriculture is the only solution of these two problems. Eco-friendly crop production An integrated approach to cropping systems management through the application of results of scientific researches may be a way for sustainable use of resources. Sincere efforts are needed on balanced fertilization and integrated nutrient supply systems involving organic manure, biofertilizers crop residue, proper cropping systems approach, weed pest disease management, low cost technology, post harvest technology, crop produce technology, social and environmental sustainability, etc. to adopt proper resource management for eco-friendly crop production. Sustainable crop production The sustainable crop production requires cropping systems approach, plant protection management, soil and water management, and integrated nutrient management. Cropping system approach. Today we have a need to change the traditional cropping system which is followed by the farmers in different states or regions of the country. Due to traditional cropping approach, crop yields have either declined or now sustained. In some states like Punjab, Cropping system is to be diversified and intensified through value added crops or vegetables or medicinal crops etc. To increase profit margin and also to meet the national larger goals. In some regions of the country, for example at Panthnagar, maize potato maize sequence is better for potato tuber yield as compared to maize potato moon sequence. Plant protection management To meet out the national goal with respect to grain productivity, we are required to protect crops from weeds, pests and diseases. Nowadays, the losses due to weeds in crop yields are estimated up to 31.5%. On an average, 10% reduction appears in the crop yields. Therefore, we need to adopt proper protection measures to control the losses in crop yields. Several pre and post emergence weedicides are available nowadays with the farmers. 
Integrated pest management is an effective approach for controlling pests. The use of neem oil is one of the successful remedies in this regard. Soil and water management The most important aspect in present-day agriculture in India is soil and water conservation. The non-agricultural sectors are increasing day by day and are utilizing huge quantity of water. This shifted trend is reducing the share percent of water in agriculture. To bring out the maximum crop yield with limited water resources has become the need of the day. Now we can use several new techniques like drip micro sprinklers, micro jet and low head buddler irrigation. They are the effective tools for scientific management of water resources. Integrated Nutrient Management The ultimate objective of nutrient management is to use all the major sources of plant nutrients such as fertilizers, minerals, organics and biological sources in an integrated manner. This leads to attain maximum economic yield without any bad effect on soil properties or ecological balance. Green manures, waste crop residues, etc. appears to be quite beneficial in sustainable agriculture. Low cost production technology Because day by day, the cost of inputs like fertilizers, seeds, herbicides, weedicides, irrigation, etc. are increasing, therefore, the necessity of low cost production technology is emerging in present-day agriculture. The role of allopathy in the control of weeds, diseases, pests, etc. is being recognized by agricultural scientists. Allopathy is a low-cost production technology where a biochemical interaction between all types of plants, including microorganisms, takes place. This covers both detrimental and beneficial reciprocal biochemical interactions. Date of sowing, zero tillage, planting geometry, spacing, seed rates growth regulators, planting techniques, etc. are low-cost technologies. Organic farming or biofarming Nowadays, the heavy use of pesticides, weedicides and other chemicals in agriculture is resulting in bad effects on human health. Therefore, we should use organic farming which is also known as biofarming. Some of the organics like compost, green manure, cakes and biofertilizers like rhizobium culture, azotobacter, azospirillum, blue-green algae, etc. are beneficial in present-day agriculture. The atmospheric air contains 78.4% nitrogen with the use of rhizobium culture in pulses 2 to 65 percent yield increases. 7 to 72 percent of increase can take place by azotobacter. Nearly 20 to 30 kilogram nitrogen per hectare can be fixed by culture azotobacter or azospirulum or rhizobium. Crop quality and post harvest technologies. It is also important to maintain the quality of crops. For this post-harvest technologies should be adopted. Some regions have developed several post-harvest techniques. Like in Ladakh, which is a cold arid region, they use solar dehydration technique for tomatoes. Some other examples are extension of shelf life for post-harvest storage of custard apple, Nutritional quality of methi seed in grain storage. Social and environmental sustainability. 
only eco-friendly crop production is not enough but sustainable culture management of sodic soil is also required through agroforestry system such as use of azolla as integrated nutrient management of saline soil women can also play an important role in social forestry resource management which is a major issue in present day agriculture hunger and food insecurity are the current problems in front of the country if unsustainable agricultural practices continue to remain in usage then scarcity of resources will be a major factor in food insecurity today the essential component of agriculture is to go for high yield by proper resource management and by making agriculture eco friendly by this only we can save environment and public health <laughs>